AMD uh, also recently announced the, um, the, the now sort of a separation between the Optron lines, announcing the Optron 4000 series and 6000 series. Uh, can you sp explain the differences between the two? Forward looking, we have been with the socket we support today in two way and four way and eight way systems. Uh, we will have to revise that with next generation, mainly because we are going to support DDR3 memory. We usually adopt technologies when they become interesting, interesting price-wise and uh, from the performance aspect of it. So far DDR3 is not that much more performant than DDR2, they have higher frequencies, uh, they have a little bit more power draw, which is going to disappear over the time, I hope. So today DDR3 is significantly more expensive than DDR2, especially in server space, and we adopt the technology when they are break-even roughly which we expect in 2010 then we will have new platforms coming back to your question uh, which support ddr3 we will have a new socket because well beyond six core you can imagine we will have cpus with even more cores they need more memory performance the more cores you bring into cpu the more workload can be handled the more memory traffic is happening so we will have a socket called g34 as you said uh, which has more than two memory channels. It supports up to four memory channels. And we will have um, a separate path, and that is the C32. We recently announced that. Uh, that might be the reason you're asking. Which is um, more targeted at simple workloads, um, things that are not that much multi-threaded. Uh, infrastructure service, for example, or even web hosting. Web hosting is mostly I.O. Um, so it's very important to keep the cost of a server low, to have a focus on the power draw of it, and you don't need the full-featured, high-performing 12-core CPU in there, rather than um, affordable value uh, platform. And that's what we will provide by having a socket called C32 or platforms based on it.